what what is the place of love in uh, in a relationship love does not make someone important but th those who are important should be loved so love is the appropriate emotion to uh, engage in a relationship with someone important so if someone becomes important to you you ought to love them and you have reason to love them so how do you know you're in love that's not really the most important question the important question is is this love valid is there a reality that the love is based on so if the person is important to you like the brother you hate is still more important than the pet you love so if somebody is important they're going to be important whether you love them or not and if someone is not important because you're not marrying him then he's not going to be important no matter how much you love him so the first question is what is the place of this person in your life then you work on the love would you believe that one of the things that is destroying marriages all over the country is love because people marry for love now if you marry a person you marry someone for the love there's a problem here are you married to the person or are you married to the love so if a husband were to say i love everything about my wife i would ask them do you love your wife and he'll say he'll say i love everything about my wife i say i i heard you but do you love your wife and he'll say what about my wife i say no not about your wife just her do you love her so is it possible that you're married to something about your spouse and you're not married to your spouse it's not about him or it's not about her it's something you're getting from them something they're giving you but not the person herself or himself so it's actually funny because say say you marry someone for their money so who you married to them or to the money you're married to the money now say you also love their uh, their looks now you're married to the beauty you also love their intelligence well now you're married to the intelligence you also love the security you get from it now you're married to the security <laughs> this is this is polygamy you have many wives or many husbands but you're not married to the person the only the only one you're not married to is her or him so we got to be careful marriage means a connection to a person to a someone not to a something so what you like about your spouse is is a perk it's a side benefit it is not the marriage the marriage means this magical ability that people have to bond with another person and to actually become one yes it is possible in fact that's what's supposed to happen the minute you get married you are now bonded you are an us and you are never alone again in the world even if you're separated by an ocean so the things that get in the way of connecting that way of having that real one-on-one -on -one bond are many and the biggest of them in our society is love when love becomes your thing then you are married to the love and not to the person and you know it's rather obvious you talk to people who are getting divorced and the most common statement is we fell out of love the love is gone what do I need him for? When the love is gone, what do I need her for? But wasn't it her that you loved? Wasn't it him that you married? 
So we got to rethink the definition of marriage. Things about each other are very nice, but the marriage is to each other. So if your grandmother, <laughs> if you asked your grandmother, what, what happens in the bedroom, husband and wife, your grandmother would say, nothing, and she'd be giving you the right answer. The bedroom is a no-thing zone. Don't bring anything into the bedroom. The bedroom is reserved for him and her, two human beings. There are no things. She's not a thing, he's not a thing, and their bond is not a thing. They don't have a mutual interest that they bond over. It's each other. Just to be together with each other and nothing between them. No separation whatsoever. That's the marriage. So love can actually be the poison that destroys the marriage. The sages put it this way. A relationship that is dependent on something will not last. A relationship that is dependent on no thing will last forever. So get all things out of the way, including love, then the marriage is what it's supposed to be.